Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. It's Kim with Kim's Inspired Life. Guys, today is Wednesday, but I'm gonna be posting Tea Tuesday, and I'll tell you why in just a minute. I am drinking coffee, my favorite coffee from Starbucks, Americano with extra cream. Yep, that's what I drink. And this morning, Zoe had gym, and um, it's so fun to go with her. It's so amazing what they have um, four-year-olds doing. Well, almost four-year-old. She's three and a half, but it's just amazing. They just had so much fun. So the thing is, is that next door to the gym is a Starbucks. And so we are in this habit of going next door, and the kids will get a water or a cake pop. And then, of course, you know, usually we get something. So it's a habit. I don't know if it's a good habit, a bad habit. It's a habit, though. But it's okay. You know what? A couple of Starbucks a week is not going to kill me, especially since I don't buy them. I will have to say my daughter-in-law, when I'm with her, she has that, you know, app on her phone or whatever you use. And so she always, um, you know, buys my Starbucks for me. She says, it's, you know, you guys do so much for the kids. It's the least I can do for you. So I'll take Starbucks as payment anytime. <laughs> So uh, that's what that is. Uh, so that's what I'm drinking right now. Guys, today I'm actually going to be sharing with you um, some cards that I'm making. I have this paper pumpkin kit and it has so much Halloween fall slash stuff in it. And I figured, you know what, I need to make some of these because I can start gifting these out um, right after July is over and Christmas in July is over. People are going to be looking at fall already. Actually, yesterday, uh, that's what I was going to be doing. I was actually going to craft with you um, while I was talking to you and I was drinking a cold tea from Starbucks at that time um, but since I didn't get to finish the video yesterday because the kids ended up coming over yesterday and ended up spending the night and of course when they're here it's just you know fun 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 we just play in the playroom and we have dinner and um, oh Terry by the way if you're watching this um, you know the fun color bath tube paint that you gave them. They used that last night in the bath and they loved it. So that was a hit, that's always a hit. So thank you very much. But before I start sharing the cards with you, I just wanna say thank you to Donna at Donna Dreams Times 3. I received my swap for last month, I believe it is. So I have that to share. I also have received a package from Janet K. So I'm excited about that to open that up. And Soleil, I have something coming to you, my friend, but I went to the post office yesterday to mail the package to Australia, and um, because I didn't package it correctly, um, it was gonna cost me an extra like $15, so I said, you know what? I will take your instructions, I will go home, and I will package it correctly. So basically, I had packaged it in a priority mail envelope, and I didn't realize that um, the flat fee for that was more than if you just put it in a regular envelope Anyway, so um, I'm gonna do that. Oh, I have that to, to get packaged up, and then I'll be bringing that to the mailbox um, on Friday. I'm enjoying my coffee. And if you're not an Americano drinker, I don't know. I just, it's my favorite. Hey friends, today we're going to be making some three by three cards. So I love craft paper. I love using craft paper. So I have some eight and a half by 11 craft paper that I decided I was going to cut down to make some three by three cards, right? I don't have the envelopes to go with them, but I'll figure that out later. So I just started cutting and I ended up with 44 cards. And in just a minute, we'll see that I do have some extra um, scrap paper left over from the craft paper, but I'm not at all worried about that because I will definitely use that in future craft projects. I have um, punches that I'll punch out the either hearts or stars or um, something other shape out of, and I'll definitely use them in projects. So when I was first starting to, um, to decide what I was going to use, if I was going to use black, I thought about just using white, but um, I thought with the fall colors, you know, gold and black and rust and orange and yellows and browns, I just, you know, all of those colors you can definitely use with craft paper. Oh, and yesterday when I was starting this, I was drinking an iced tea and I've been getting um, the black tea lemonade iced tea in a venti cup. I normally only get grande, but you know, it's been so hot here. I had to get, um, I've been getting the vente, so, and there wasn't ice in it, but 
Anyway, okay, so here's all the pieces that come together in this um, Stampin' Up! kit. It's the September 2020 Hello Pumpkin, and there's so many pieces in it. Um, there are just um, cats and pumpkins and, um, of course, the stamps and little flowers and little background pieces. And, okay. Pinterest, of course. You can always go to Pinterest and get the what they call the paper pumpkin alternatives. And I always do that anyway. I think I've said that in um, previous vid videos that when I get the paper pumpkin kit, I usually only make maybe three or four of the actual cards the way they're intended to be made. And then I always look at the alternatives. So what I did was I started with the... Um, paper that they had given which was actually like to make some little you know candy containers or something and I cut it up and um, because I do like that gingham paper and then I used other scrap paper as well because you know I kind of got tired of using just that same gingham and then I just used three different types of washi. Here's what I have so far I went ahead and stamped these have a happy Halloween these are both die cuts that come with the kit so I just put those on there I made all three of these the same I kept them plain at first I thought well let me put some you know stickles on it or something but I think the recipient can do that if they want to do that and then I love these little pumpkins and there are so many I have so many of all of these um, left over I cut out 44 of these um, three by three cards and I'm not sure if I have envelopes to go with them I'm going to have to check so that I can send the recipients cards as well as envelopes so all right guys well I am going to continue working on all of these cards so hopefully I'm going to try to work fast so I can get all of these done today and then I can move on to the next thing. Thank you for stopping by for Tea Tuesday on Wednesday <laughs> and have a great week. I'll talk to you soon.